Hi, today we're at Coors Field in Denver, Colorado. Everyone wants to know what inning we're in. It's kind of hard to say since the fact is the hotel industry is nothing like a baseball game. But just as we're seeing all sorts of records being broken in the industry, we're also seeing a huge increase in just awful phraseology. We're going to discuss some of the most overused phrases we've been hearing and explain how they relate to the state of the industry today. What inning is it? This is perhaps the most overused phrase that is asked of panelists at conferences whenever the hotel industry is in the midst of a growth period. It is essentially another way of asking people to predict how far we are from a slowdown or downturn in the economic cycle, which is nearly impossible to foresee. However, by phrasing it as what inning is it, the question focuses on where we are now in the economic cycle, which may appear to be an easier inquiry. Certainly, we are in the period of expansion, and dividing that unknown time frame into innings is somewhat nonsensical. Most people play it safe and respond that we are in the middle innings because we are beyond the initial expansion period, but hopefully we are not nearing the end. However, no one considers the fact that the game could go into extra innings or be called due to inclement weather. Runway if we want to mix metaphors, we can talk about innings and then make a comment about how much runway we have left. Like innings, runway refers to how much time we have left before things go bad. So for example, if we're in the seventh inning, we're starting to use up all of our runway. This is a bit dramatic, of course. When we actually reach the end of the cycle, what happens in the hotel industry is rev power goes down. When an airplane speeds through the end of its runway, it's kind of a bigger problem. Frothy. Froth is the mass of small bubbles on top of a liquid often caused by some sort of agitation, like pouring a carbonated beverage. Similarly, frothy is used to describe an investment environment where the prices of assets are rising above their real value due to high demand. Certainly, transaction prices for the hotel industry are at an all-time high, and continue to rise as cash flows increase and market fundamentals remain strong. Whether or not investors are overpaying for assets remains to be seen, as the return on investment over the hold period is the only true way to evaluate a good investment. We hope that our explanations of these various overused cliches in the hotel industry put you on the right track to understanding what they truly mean and how silly some of them may be. Until next time, let's continue to move the needle, and we hope that nothing keeps you up at night.